Here's something that I've done before but never videotaped. Running, how to run a mercury vapor lamp inside of a normally incandescent fixture. I've seen recessed square mercury vapor fixtures before, but I've, I can't find them in stores anywhere, even when mercury vapor lights were still legal to sell. Anyways, what I did was I followed the wiring diagram on this 100 watt mercury vapor ballast and wherever you see a blue wire nut, that's where it goes to the wire leads that normally go to the lamp holder in here. And I followed the diagram and everywhere there's a blue wire nut is where a lead should have gone to the lamp. And that's what we basically have here. Normally if you, you have to use a ballast, otherwise, otherwise that lamp is going to pretty much fry right away if you just try to connect it to regular house current. Anyways, I appropriately stuck in here a mercury vapor lamp that's shaped like an incandescent lamp. It's a coated bulb. A DX. It's a Phillips. Anyways, let's fire this thing up right here. Since it's a DX lamp, it starts up sort of red-pink, and then it's going to warm up to cool white. I don't know if we'll be able to catch the whole thing on video, but uh, basically, it's a Philips, and I saw that Philips stopped making these in the U.S. and started making them in China. They were, they were U.S. made before, only recently did they turn Chinese, so I figured I'd go to Home Depot, see if they had any U.S. made ones left, and if so, there was a few of them, so I picked up one of the last ones, but some of them already said made in China on them. Anyways, you can see it's warming up. It's sort of that purpley color that the mercury vapor lamp turns when it's coated and it's starting to warm up but not all the way there. Unfortunately the camera can't pick up the whole thing because 100 watts take longer to warm up so enjoy what you can here. Laters.